All right, this is going to be the first of my new series called Trash to Cash. And uh, what I'm doing here is I took a build that I made a couple years back, and I just basically in my backyard falling to pieces. And uh, so I'm taking all the nails out of uh, all these boards. And uh, basically what I was trying to do on this was only use what was in that pile of wood. I didn't want to add any wood or anything. And uh, I kept the wood nice and dirty as well. I just wanted to give it the full effect, you know, it was trash and I want to turn it into something nice. <clears throat> Here I'm making the uh, stretchers uh, for the bottom of the coffee table. And I'm using a little stop block right there so I can get all the same measurements quickly and easily. And right here I'm just going to cut what are going to be the legs and I cut them at a 45 degree angle. just to make a difference. Nothing special. And on my table saw here, I'm using the, uh, the fence to line everything up so the, uh, the ends are all even. And I put a pencil mark there and that's going to be when I use the, uh, the biscuit joiner so everything will line up properly. And these right here, I'm cutting three pieces for uh, support for the stretchers. Right here, this is why I'm using the biscuit going to uh, put the holes in there. And, uh, and in a second, we'll see the, uh, put the little small biscuits in there. And just use a little bit of water to get the excess glue off. Putting enough glue on there so I make sure I get even squeeze out. You want to make sure that all the pe all the pieces are going to be glued together. That they're going to have glue on that whole area. Right here, I'm making what's going to be the uh, sides of the coffee table, and uh, there again, I'm using a stop block to uh, get all the pieces cut to even length quickly. And just gluing on a, uh, a little trim using my nailer gun to basically clamp it down so the glue will cure up. And there again, I just want to you know I, I didn't really clean these boards up at all. They still had dirt, uh, dog hair on them, grass. Because like I said, I want to truly take it from trash to cash. You know, so I want to have you, let y'all see the full effect. And I don't know if I mentioned or not, but the wood I'm using is is cedar. Um, cedar is one of those type of woods that it's resistance to bugs and. Uh, it's not supposed to rot. I'm not going to say it don't rot, but it doesn't rot very easily. <clears throat> and here I'm just using uh, these calls here to uh, make sure even the pressure is applied all the way across. There again, just to help um, clamp it down until the glue dries. other side and now I'm starting on the uh, two shorter sides
and again you use those clamps to help secure it until the glue dries. I mean, with all the nails I put into it, I seriously doubt it's going to go anywhere anyways, but hey, might as well be safe than sorry. And now I'm taking all four of those pieces and I'm uh, going to glue them up. And after I glue them, I'm, you'll see in a second, I'm going to drill holes for wooden dowels. And uh, more than likely the glue would have been strong enough, but there again, might as well be safe than sorry. Put the wooden dowels in there just to give you a little more extra strength. And here it is right now. And I put that little blue tape on my on my bit, so I would I know just how far I need to drill down, so I didn't go too deep. And uh, on these uh these are pre-made dowels that I bought, and uh, I actually had to use two to go far enough in. And then I'm just cutting them flush. <clears throat> and then right here, I'm uh, putting a piece down at the bottom, uh, just going to be a support for the bottom slats. So I'll put a piece on all four sides, and this is where the slats on the bottom are going to rest, and I'll be able to glue and nail them to that. And there again, like I said, you can see all the dirt, the grass, the dog hair. I left all that there just so y'all can just, like I said, see, see it go. Trash the cash. And these are from earlier, those three support pieces for the, um, Where the, where the legs are and uh, using pocket holes and I'll join them together with pocket screws there again this part's not going to be seen so I wasn't really worried about it the only way you would see that is if you pick this thing up and actually look underneath And these pieces I'm cutting right now, these are for the, the lid. Oh, I'm sorry, that was actually for these flats right here, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, there you have it. And as you can see, that wood is very weathered. It probably sat outside for about three years, probably. in the top of it to the bottom leg support and I guess I must have not filmed making this this um, lid part right here but so this is all you're gonna get on this I'm just uh, gluing the trim up on top there again using a nailer to secure it Right here, um, I needed to cut an angle of 65 degrees, and on most chop saws, 50 degrees is about as far as you can go. So what I had to do is I had to cut this piece at 45, and then I placed the other piece on that, and then I moved my chop saw angle to a 20 degree angle so 45 plus 20 that equals the 65 degree angle that I needed and here I'm just putting the hinges on drilling the holes for the hinges and now I'm 
going, securing the uh, the door to the uh, structure. fish eye screw on there and because I'm going to use a chain so that the uh, door whenever you open it it'll be secured and won't fall too far back or slam back down as you can see right there and I did do some sanding on this and, and there again with most of my videos I don't show the sanding because it's just monotonous redundant and Pretty much anybody knows how to sand. I mean, so anyways, here um, I'm just spraying the, uh, the varnish on, and I probably did four or five coats of it. And I did as many coats as I did because uh, it's going to be in, um, placed in Zodiac's lounge. And um, there's a chance that, you know, some soft drinks, some beer, wine may be spilled on it. So, you know, I want to be able to protect the wood. And then here you can see where uh, I took it from the trash and turned it into this cache. You know, not too bad. And uh, like I said, I didn't use any other wood other than what y'all seen in that pile of wood. That's all I used.